it's Emily with Lowell Parks and Conservation Trust. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some parasitic plants that you can find all around Massachusetts. Autotrophs are plants who create their own food through a process called photosynthesis. These house plants are all autotrophs. Parasitic plants don't have any green tissue just like this one flowered cancer root. This is because this plant doesn't have chlorophyll or photosynthesize. This plant is getting all of its nutrients from its host plant. In this case, it's a goldenrod or solidago. The first species I'm highlighting today is a plant with many common names. I personally know it best by the common name ghost plant. Like all three plants I plan to talk about in this video, the ghost plant gets all of its nutrients by feeding off of fungi. This plant is widespread in Massachusetts and can be found in early summer through early autumn in shady forested areas. The ghost plant is usually a shocking bright white color, but it can also be found with a pinkish red coloration, just like the one I am drawing here. Another defining characteristic of the ghost plant is the single flower at the end of each stalk. The ghost plant is so beautiful, it's very tempting to cut and handle this plant. Although, if handled too roughly, the jelly-like consistency of the plant will dissolve away in your hands. Next, we have a plant commonly known as hairy pine sap. This plant stem is a vibrant red-pink in coloration, while its flowers have an equally vibrant yellow-red. This plant is found in southern New England and is commonly found around oak trees. Hairy pine sap is in bloom from late August through October. The plant's bright colors are its defining characteristics. It can sometimes be confused with another plant with similar colors, commonly called pine drops. Therefore, hairy pine sap is sometimes referred to as false pine drops. friend the ghost plant, there are multiple flowers at the end of each stalk. <music> Lastly, we have a plant called yellow pine sap. This plant is similar in structure to hairy pine sap. It actually wasn't until recently that they were divided into their own species. Although they have a similar structure, yellow pine sap has pale yellow to light brown stems and on average is slightly shorter than hairy pine sap. Yellow pine sap is also more widespread across Massachusetts. joining me today as we explored some of our cool parasitic plants. Did you know these three already? Let us know in the comment section below.